Greetings and salutations! Welcome to TFI for a VR video, mate. Yes, it's been a while, but I'm I'm loving this stuff that I'm doing at the moment. All this Unity Furious Unity application streaming stuff. I did a video last week. Don't know if you saw it, mate. I'll link it up here. Don't watch it yet. Watch this one first. But basically, Unity Furious is an internet streaming service where you can take an application package, like a scene done in Unity or Unreal Engine and then you can package it up and then send it out to Unity Furious. That'll gobble it up and then Furious will stream your application package over the internet to a punter's tablet or mobile device. So I did this in a video and one of the sample scenes that I was looking at was an absolutely gorgeous apartment, this absolute mint interior design, it's class. I was walking through, it had rain on the glass, beautiful interior design, I got stuck in a door frame, it was great days. But the guys who modeled that got in touch with me and they were like, we've actually got a VR version of that. Do you want to check out the VR version? And I was like, oh, do you even know me? Yes, I do. So they've sent me the VR version of this amazing apartment. So I'm going to check that out in this video. Unfortunately, we can't use VR through Furious because the world's just not prepared for internet VR streaming. We need latency to be better. And the only way we can do that is through 5G, but 5G is obviously not mainstream. People are going mental kicking down towers and shit, so we're going, we ain't doing 5G anywhere near yet. So, fortunately, streaming VR is not a thing yet. So I'm going to do this through using regular old Windows application local packages. Hey, good enough for me. Is rather than just go, right, let's just jump into a VR apartment and walk around, and you'll be like, okay, great, good for you. You can see a nice apartment, but what good is this to me? I'm going to kind of mix this in with something Ever possibly would benefit you. So if you're thinking to yourself, I want to get into VR, or my business wants to get into VR, but we're not really quite sure how we're going to go about doing it. It might be too, too expensive. I'm going to mix this with the cheap workstation Slayer build for 2020. So the PC is the AMD Ryzen 3600 PC, which I've got, I'll link it in the description. It's this boy down here. So I'm bringing them out the cupboard for out of retirement. It's that one there. It's an AMD Ryzen 3600, 16 gig of RAM. Uh, I think it's a B250 motherboard or something like that. I can't remember now. I'll leave it in the description. The graphics card that we're going to go with for this is this one here. It's the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060. But this is the secret RTX 2080, which has been repackaged and repurposed as an RTX 2060. This one's about $320. And this is amazing for VR, it really is. It's kind of, well, it is, it's entry level GPU territory but it does a great job in VR. And you're gonna see me do just that, mate. So that's kind of the point of this. I'm gonna show you a VR experience with a pretty affordable system. And then you can see that. And then you'll know that you can do that yourself. And I'll link everything in the description so you can see if you wanna buy that, then you can do that yourself. The VR headset that I'm gonna go with, is gonna be the Oculus Rift S. Now I do have a number of different VR headsets in the house. I've got the Valve Index and the HTC Vive. You can see just up there, I've got the base stations on the wall. Not going to use the Valve Index, so I'm going to go with a more affordable VR headset. Again, I'll link that in the description. But we're going to go with the Oculus Rift S, roughly $350. Easy to set up, easy to use, good performance, good resolution, good visuals. Again, you can be pretty dexterous with this. It's it's not as anywhere near as good as the Valve Index in terms of finger tracking and being able to pick things up and move your hands around. But if you want the Valve Index and you want that level of immersion, then you you pay three times as much for it, dems the facts. I think that's a pretty good price point at this time to get this level of VR experience. So speaking of this level of VR experience, let's get it all set up and see what it's like. We are in, we're in virtual reality. This is creepy, mate, this is creepy. This is the scene that I was walking around last week in 2D, looking at it on a monitor, and now I'm walking around it in VR, almost for realsies. Creepy. Right, so some first impressions now that I'm in here. Uh, first impressions, who who imposed these weird biker gloves on my hands? I do not approve. Uh, so this is Oculus Rift S. It does look like I've got quite a bit of finger control, <laughs> ladies, but not really. Uh, but no, there doesn't. there's no pointers or nothing. There's no menus, nothing. It just appears to be hand movements for the sake of hand movements. That's cool. That's cool. I can still point. Do Trump impressions. China. 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 
is all you need. Second impressions, mate, visuals, stunning, really stunning. So being in the Rift S, it's a noticeable downgrade from the Valve Index, no doubt. However, if I was putting a customer in this, I'd be more than happy, more than happy. If you've never used anything other than a Rift S, you'd not know the difference. I can, the resolution is noticeably lower than the, than the Index, but this is perfectly usable. Not pin sharp, but perfectly usable. Anyway, ha, oh, let's talk about the scene itself. These texture, oh, look at that, look, this is, that attention to detail is what I'm talking about, love it. Right, let's see, how do we move in this Murder Hubbard? Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that glow against the wall. Again, details like that. Yeah, you get a customer in something like this and they see that. It doesn't add anything productive, but it's just a nice touch that a customer will, will notice. And they'll be like, I feel you there. I feel you, mate. I see where you're going with that. And I appreciate the attention to detail. That's nice. Let's take a move around and see what we've, what else we've got to play with. Uh, rain the puddles. Oh, it's lovely. It's probably easy to do these things in Unity and Unreal Engine, but as someone who's not familiar with how this all comes about, I appreciate this so much. It's such a nice touch. It feels like I'm being rained on. Like it, I can't portray this over 2D because you're watching this in 2D, but it feels like I'm in a corridor being pissed on in the rain is what it feels like uh the textures on the walls look stunning even the audio it feels like i've got kind of pretty well laid out stereo audio like if i turn this way i can hear the rain coming out of the left channel if i turn that way i can hear the rain coming out of the right channel again that kind of immersion good to know that you can build in that kind of audio feedback into these kind of scenes as well if this is something you're thinking about doing have a think about whether that's something you can use potentially kind of audio feedback to give the customer an extra level of the overall experience. So, yes, love this. Look, wow, look at the dirt, man, going up the walls. Oh, it's just stunning. Anyway, right, let's go in the house and see what it's like inside. Right, movement as well. Thumbsticks on the VR controllers. Flick to the right and flick to the left does turn you in VR. I don't enjoy this. I don't suffer from motion sickness, but I don't enjoy the, the, the 45 degree snap directional change i personally prefer uh, like a smooth transitional rotation or even when you're teleporting i prefer to physically move but some people do get really nauseous with that uh, and you could put me in a tumble dryer in virtual reality and i'd not get motion sick i'm quite blessed with that but anyway let's go indoors let's uh see if there's anyone in hello hello it does not appear to be anyone in so Doors open. Can I interact with the door? Nope, these are not interactable. No, can I? So, okay, it looks like the scene is static. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to interact with anything in here. But the door's open. That's my cue to enter. So I don't think this is a felony. I think I'm free to go in. Uh, that's permission in my books. So, now that I'm in, I'm, I'm kind of getting the sense of being indoors now. Like, it's a noticeable change from going outside to inside. You feel it inside virtual reality. The atmosphere changes when you enter indoors. Even the audio feedback inside the headset, kind of because the, the rain and the noise of outside kind of leaves you behind. And then you're entering into an environment which very much feels indoors. Uh, the lighting kind of changes. Uh, it's just that, that, that you can't replicate that in 2D. But anyway, now that we're in here, let's take a look at this this room and this or this apartment that's been set up by one Iros. Uh, so this is uh, an apartment, a Scandinavian apartment, they call it, which they use for things like residential sales, uh, I don't know, commercial properties, it's that kind of a thing. They, they set out and model and texture these kind of uh, these scenes and environments for customers to use, to put their customers in, to walk around, interact with, and then experience something before it's designed and built. So this is one that's been put together for demonstrational purposes. I've walked around it in 2D, but now it's time to do it in virtual reality. So I've pretty much seen everything that there is to see here, but not in this kind of detail. So I'm like, for example, a little koala picture up there. Would never have saw that. And what this thing is here, it's like a little, little Minecraft deer thing going on. I wish I could punch it off. The, why, why, why was that my first, <laughs> why was that my first thought to punch the deer off the shelf? That's... That's not nice. What's happening to me? Uh, we've got nice spots in the ceiling. Good attention to detail. I'm not, 
this just the whole thing has got attention to detail. Whoever lives here, though, suspiciously too many books. But I want to find out what kind of a book on wallpaper. If that's a book on wallpaper, then there's definitely something wrong with who's living here. And I need to get out of here before they get home. So who has a book about wallpaper? That's not normal. It is. And they've got another. They've got several books on wallpaper. I need to I need to bolt here quick. Pierre Cardin, 60 Years of Innovation. Pierre Cardin. I'm not familiar with Pierre Cardin. I'm pretty sure the only time I've ever seen Pierre Cardin is when something of his is in a bargain bin in the local store. And now his book's mirrored around. Now this is getting creepy. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So I think that a lot of the decor in here is inspired from Ikea because when I was doing this in 2D last week, I went to Ikea the day after and I saw this very lampshade in Ikea. And as soon as I saw it, I was just like, brought it up on the phone. I was just like, that 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 is i've just saw that in birch it, 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 yeah it's it's ikea lamp 40 pounds ikea good deal uh, in fact it gives you get a good idea of scale with with this uh enjoying this down here these little in fact, i wouldn't want to sit on these it's just a big bin lid it's weird right more books Wait, what else is he reading uh, the allure of men mm. Uh, window. Okay, well, so we've got a book on wallpaper, a book on windows. <laughs> this is a bit strange. Uh, smile in the mind. That's very deep. Like that. I love that picture there as well. Can I get on the sofa? I can't get on the sofa. Can I go face up against this? I can. That's awesome. So, Rift S, even though it is a resolution downgrade from the Valve Index, I can still see uh, the finer detail, the finer texture in these paintings, uh, in the fabric of this canvas. And it looks really nice. That's good. I'm enjoying that. And that could read the text very clearly in the books, which if you're thinking, of course, you should be able to read the text clearly in the books. No, not really. Early days of virtual reality, mate, the original Oculus Rift and the original HTC Vive, reading text on things like books, forget about it. So we've, uh, we've come quite a, a long way. This room, love this. Love this. This is what blew me away when I first came in here. It was the rain kind of hitting the windows. And I think it was this window here where I first saw the rain. And I was like, wow, absolute massive wow. And like the fabric on the curtains. Now like now I'm stood here, like actually face to face with the curtains, with my hands going through them. But yeah, it's just like it's just awesome that you can do this now. And then the reflections on the floor, like this looks ray traced, but it's not. It just looks it, but it's a really nice effect. So you've got the reflections of the skylights hitting the laminate floor and probably real wood flooring, let's be honest, in a room like this. But it looks amazing. If you were to take those reflections away from a scene like this, it would make the whole thing feel differently. It's those kind of details, again, that make the big difference. Loving, the, I just love everything about this. It's, it's just such a lush place to be. And for a lot of people watching this, maybe you don't do interior design in real estate but you can change and just swap out the things that i'm looking at here with whatever it is you do this is all designed in a game engine these are just assets from a, a, a separate 3d modeler that have been brought in and then exported into virtual reality so a chair a sofa that could be an engine and that could be a gearbox you know it could be whatever you want it to be uh, love that as well where are these from where do i get these from see this is another thing that you can do with the likes of a game engine if i'm walking around here if this is a virtual showroom you can have like little flyers and point outs like if i go where's this from i need this in my life then you can like touch it or point at it and like a fly call out will come out and say this is from ikea and it's 260 pounds scan this qr code or like i don't know touch your head or something and it'll put it in your favorites or something like that's all possible in the current conditions that we're in that's very likely to be the future you know when you have to make appointments to go to the store who wants to do that when you can just walk around i mean this is like walking around ikea you know instead of having labels hanging off them you can just go yeah fancy that how much is that ah oh, 40 quid add the basket let's be honest that's kind of where we're heading and let's let's hope it is says the guy with four VR headsets. Uh, but yeah, so fr the fridge, can I, oh, it'd be nice if I could open the fridge. Let, but I'm, I'm going to hazard a guess, the guy who's got books on wallpapers and windows doesn't have anything in his fridge. Can I, can I put my head in? Okay. Wow, okay, yes, he's got nothing in his fridge. How embarrassing, more windows books. I mean, obviously it's just a copy and paste of assets at this point, but yeah, loving all this that's going on. 
I'm again, look, there's this, this suspended lighting fixture that's going up across here. I tell you where I do want to go. I want to go into the upstairs because I was denied from going into the bedroom. <laughs> I hear that a lot when I was in 2D. Oh, then we've got the Mac over here. Just uh, move the chair out of the way. I don't know. Just sit down with my Mac. Hey, I've got that very lamp. I, I, have, I have that very lamp. That's a wireless charging lamp. You press the little button on the top, uh, this thing here, and it turns the lamp on and turns it off. Then you put your phone on that and it wireless charges it. I've got the IKEA, obviously. Post-it notes. Let's see what, let's see what he's up to. Feed, what is Raul? Feed Raul. Is this the secret, like, vampire bear that's hiding in the basement? Now, can I stick my head out of here? Help! Help! I'm being oppressed! Oh, again, nice artwork here. There's like a couple of pair of legs here. Ah, the bathroom. Yes, the bathroom. The room that we couldn't go in. Right, let's go in the bathroom. Let's see what's in here. Again, nice fit. Again, you walk in every room that you walk in, you, f you f get a sense of what this room would feel like. Right, excuse me. just need to... Uh... There's no toilet paper. Why is there no toilet paper? Yeah, look at the marble. The attention to detail that's got into the whole gig is just awesome. Nice towel hanging on the ladder there. Into someone's bedroom. Hang on a minute before I do, just make sure there's no one in here. No. So yeah, that's probably enough for this one, I think. Can I stand on the I mean, just, just, just look at that. You're not here in virtual reality, but if you were, this is like just being stood in a bedroom looking at, you know, change the bedside lamps, change the tables, change out the bed sheets, different color. Maybe put a different window blind on, change out the, the sideboards. Yes, that's the kind of arrangement that I want. This mirror going on, what, 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 where am I? Am I, am I, am I dead? It's an alternate reality. Am I dead? What's, what's happened to my legs? Where's my legs? I don't even know how I'm standing up. No. This is incredible. Everything about this experience is second to none. The modeling, the lighting, the textures, the whole deal. I kind of hope that they do more work to it and make it. I, I don't know if there's, if there's any merit to them doing it, you know, making the objects interactable, but having call outs to sort of a demonstration environment, like if someone wants to know where to buy this photo frame from, for example, being able to just point at it and then get a fly out and add to basket or something like that, you know. It would be nice to demonstrate how that's possible. Look at the beams up there, man. It's incredible. So, yeah, the Rift S has held up pretty well, coped throughout this whole experience. I don't think I've had a single graphical dropout as I've walked out the whole apartment, as has the workstation held up pretty well. So thanks very much to the guys at Winiris for sending out this VR experience. This is something else. It's awesome to see what is possible with the likes of Unity and the whole ecosystem that provides the assets to Unity and what people are doing with it as well. And with regards to the workstation that I'm powering with this with, if you want to put together a workstation like I'm using here, and now that you've seen that it's able to run VR at the level that you're seeing right now I haven't even been out here yet uh, then I put links in the description to Amazon to all the piece parts of the workstation uh, they're my affiliate link so if you do make a purchase and build the PC that I'm using here I'll get a kickback uh, from Amazon not from you from Amazon uh, which it, it helps me build future systems and do future videos like this so yeah that's all in the description down below as well as a link to the oculus headset if you're interested in that as well that'll do for now thanks very much like i said links in the description thanks again to the guys at one iros for sending this over i'll put a link in the description as well to to their website so you can go and check out their work clearly they've obviously done a lot of good work so you can see what else they're up to thanks and i'll see you in the next one Doodles.